ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to speak a little bit tonight about uh, electroplating. Uh, in this uh, little bowl of soup here we have um, uh, some copper plating going on um, with the uh, anode here. I have uh, just a, a piece of copper that's in there and on the other side on the cathode I have a, um, a piece of steel um, which I have uh, already applied a very light plating to and uh, this uh, will be the second successive plating that I've uh, done to this. Um, people have often wondered, well, how do I put copper onto uh, steel? Well, it's not very difficult. First thing you got to have is some uh, uh, some copper in the first place uh, to uh, plate onto the steel. Uh, second, you need um, some sort of uh, electrolyte. In my case, I chose white vinegar and uh, a very, very small amount of water um, just to uh, uh, keep things flowing there. Um, apparently, uh, just vinegar by itself is not the best from what I understand. Um, and um, I had a piece of uh, scrap uh, uh, steel that um, I lightly buffed with a uh, stainless steel wire brush and uh, put in the soup and um, it's uh, bubbling right now um, I have a battery tender <clears throat> on the uh, 12 volt battery and um, uh, really uh, to make the soup um, you, you end up taking what I'd end up doing was taking a whole bunch of these uh, little pieces of copper kind of cut them up into smaller pieces kind of piled them up um, I went ahead and uh, pierced a hole in one of them and um, uh, kind of stacked it up on the, um, uh, the anode and cathode side and uh, basically I let the, uh, uh, the mixture equalize uh, pretty much overnight and when I came out this morning I had a blue mixture which tells me a lot of copper was dissolved into the water and um, uh, vinegar electrolyte mix and um, once you have uh, dissolved copper and the electrolyte now you can put it onto something and uh, in this case uh, that piece of steel was just basically a hole got punched through it I ran a wire through that hole um, uh, once again I uh, took a piece of copper did the same thing and I got that for the uh, anode uh, the cathode is the uh, steel and um, if you give that some time you don't need a lot of voltage 12 volts is even kind of high um, 6 volts is actually a little bit better and uh, a little bit of time and uh, it will come out um, uh, electroplated uh, what I will do is I'll expose it right this second so you guys can see the process and uh, as you can see already we have a uh, copper coating on this piece of steel. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in there. What you don't want to do is have those two pieces of conductors meet. Um, it can short circuit. It's not so bad when it's in the solution, but uh, don't want to cause any undue problems. Um, but that simply um, is uh, a way to um, do uh, copper plating. Um, there's a bunch of other ways of doing the same thing, um, but it all does, uh, ends up uh, having to dissolve copper in the uh, electrolyte. Uh, whichever way you do it, have fun. Thanks for watching.